Black Aster on Global, how is this man gonna play out? Well, here's the thing, yes you don't have Witch Queen, but the thing is is that Black Aster is still gonna be there causing issues, especially in that anti-magic state. Because again, once he hits that HP threshold, it's pretty much game over for the enemy. Yep. At that point, you're just ready to kind of <laughs> nuke your way through. No, but in all honesty, of course Witch Queen is still yet to be released for Global, but that doesn't hold back Black Aster in any way. This man is still going to be dropping absolute bombs on the enemy itself. Whether Well, on PvE, you can pretty much nuke your way through once you hit that threshold. If you want to, you could actually just make Asta run. Like if, we're, if we're specifically talking about like raid bosses and whatnot, I mean, if you want to, you could potentially one run man Asta and just get that nuke off. Although adding support does kind of help out and produce numbers like such as this. If we just um, casually set him up with characters, which hopefully most of what technically speaking, everyone is free except Sally and Asta, but he's kind of like the main character. But anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, like in situations like these, I understand guild bosses can be very, very difficult, but with the help of a Black Aster coming along, I mean, this is kind of what is now achievable with PvE content, right? Aster comes along. I'm, by the way, I'm hoping this hits for 6 mil. Can we, can we, can we, can we do it? Can we do it? Goddamn! <laughs> Just a casual 8 mil. But that is the that is the power that these tanks have, and it's it, it, it's crazy to think that I'm speaking about a tank that is posi that that's doing this type of damage. So with the role of him being a tank, he's doing a fantastic job of it. So obviously in this scenario, you know this boss is doing AOE damage. Obviously my free supporters, as you guys can see, they're not exactly got the correct gear on. They're pretty weak as it is, of course. And just by that second skill alone, because you've got to keep in mind that's the defense up level 3 and the total defense, that alone just kind of keeps the team alive just that little bit enough for me to kind of get to where I need to be. I mean, of course, you know, can help me out a little bit in kind of reducing the damage there. But this second skill right here, it really is such a helpful skill for the whole team. So a lot was tanked there to what could have happened if I didn't apply that second skill. So that tank roll from Asta is there, and then, you know, when 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 things don't go your way, or when the time is right in this case faster, he can just kind of hit the red button. I think that's that that's the beauty of his character. He's got that tank roll to support the whole team, which is beautiful. And then, once he takes enough damage, that then resorts to into him kind of being like, all right, you know, what? we've had our fun in games. It's been fun playing this raid, but I think it's time for us to kind of move on and try something else so boom okay let me see if i can beat my previous score come on i don't think i did anything different uh, come on baby oh we went i did we beat it was it 8.4 before in scenarios such as like these for pve content i think this is kind of picture perfect having aggressive bosses i think that's going to be a beauty because at that point you can really feed into um, asked to get in his anti-magic. So in a way, yes, Witch Queen ain't here and you can have to play the slow game, but in a way, if the boss is actively pushing uh, your team, right, as, as you're losing your HP and as Asta's kind of feeding off from that, hey, who am I to say no? That's just helping us out in the long run. And again, I can kind of just kind of uh, slow that down a little bit with this second skill right here. Kind of ease it up a little bit. So obviously most is coming in. If there's something that I can show you guys, which I will do in just a second, that attack from Mimosa does a ton of damage. And, I, and I'll show you. I, I, as you saw, all of my health, we tanked it. And that is all because of the Greymoor and that second skill that Black Aster possesses. And that's on his second skill. So that's why I mean, when it comes to Black Aster, if you can get his Greymoor, and again, he doesn't need any other, uh, any other dupes. It's just him and the Greymoor. Then you've essentially got yourself your red tank sorted. We've got Radis for green, we've got Mars for blue. There isn't anyone else is there, no. And Black Arsa basically handles the red mono, if that's something that you're after. But just in general, a, a, a fantastic um, defender. And it's just that added bonus that this man holds power compared to every other tank. And that's why he is kind of far ahead and why a lot of people desire this man, because it's that Hail Mary of if things go south, Asta, kick it up a notch. That's what it is. So, obviously we're taking our sweet time with this. 
Mosa does a ton of damage. I mean, we're tanking it pretty nicely. Of course, the squad is taking a hefty amount of damage. So I'm actually just going to ease up a little bit. I'm not going to apply... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> One thing which I do want to mention right now is that with my gear set that I'm running, I've got my crit rate, crit damage, and attack. And the reason being is because with Arsta, that second skill play that he does, that he has, it supports the whole team to where they can tank. I want you guys to know, Finral has no gears on. Gorsh has, I think, two gears on. Sal is the only one that has a support uh, gear set on. So the fact that I've got characters, support characters that aren't exactly boosted up with a, a ton of gear sets and whatnot, it just shows you the power of, of, of well, the role of Asta being a defender just from his second skill kit along with the Greymore, right? And so in the scenario that we've kind of put ourselves in, I, I'm pretty sure if I... Um, I kind of don't want to ult here. I'm going to play... Uh, I, yeah, no, yeah, if I ulted, I would have killed. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I was playing the save. I was playing the save. Um, but, I mean, you guys can clearly see from a defensive standpoint and that playing that defensive role, and I'm just constantly boosting up Asta. It's, and again, that first skill, it's blocking off from Mimosa from healing. So... I can really maximize this now. She's got all these. Oh, she's got defense up. That's fine. This should cut her through. Let's have a look. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. And again, they're, they're targeting the tank. And that's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. So in, in scenarios such as these. I mean, I'll also quickly. Okay, so let me just quickly <laughs> beat this. And then I'll run through the fight again. With... Um, we're, we're also not using his second skill and you guys will see the difference. All right, so I've quickly run back into the fight again. So uh, we'll let Mimosa do a thing. I, I think that's the beauty of Asta. So, I mean, I'll do my regular play, you know, we'll, we'll buff him up. You know, having a offensive build of Asta is just beautiful because it's, because it's like, yes, he's doing damage already and anti-magic isn't in effect. When it does come into effect, it's because as he's a tank and enemies will focus on him, it's like, yes, you've fallen for my trap card stupid AI <laughs> it's just it, it's it's an absolute beauty because it is it, that's exactly what you want so I'm not gonna activate the second skill so I'm not gonna put I'm not I'm not pushing any defensive support because that by the way is consistent because the boost sorry the buffs are on for two turns which means by the time um, your buffs are, are, are about to go you can reapply it so it's it's consistent throughout that's why our stat as, as a defensive character is just you're gonna love him so I'm not gonna apply it this time around so you guys will see the power of Mimosa and with the dip. Are we seeing what we're seeing? She just O-code practically everyone. So the defensive role to what Black Asta can provide for the whole team is disgusting. It truly is. So we're just kind of going to have to uh, play the long game, do a little bit of damage. Mimosa is going to do us. There we go. I don't know if this is going to Oko. Actually, no, this might Oko. Actually, hold on a minute. This should Oko, I think. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think she's got like six, 700k health, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. There you go. When in doubt, nuke your way out. How much damage does that do? 600k, okay. Well, no, 500k. I did half a mil because I already did 100k. I, I, actually, I don't know if it registers the 100k that I did previously, but regardless, half a mil. I feel like with Black Arsla, he's already a seller. <laughs> he's already a seller. People are just sold about the character. Um, which is completely understandable, you know, this man, I mean, it, just it being Black Aster, I think that is the big seller of its own. You know, a lot of people uh, like this form, and to, to, for, for this to be the, the first form, I, I should say, you know, it, it's going to be a hot seller for Global. But just know that this man, on, on what he possesses, not to be slept on. And again, the requirements on what you're trying to summon for and what you need, um, I wouldn't say it, it's, it's a huge amount. I mean, of course, if you get dupes, it's just an additional bonus. That's all it is. But again, if you can maximize on just getting at least a copy with the Greymore, then I think you'll be A-OK. -okay. I, yeah, I think, I think that will be pretty much all you need. Uh, right, let's see if we can get Asta situated. So again, in, in, this, in the same role. As I like to use my Asta, everyone's pushing towards him, he's keeping everyone alive. And then that leads into pretty much... I'm hoping this kills. This should kill. This should kill. Damn, that didn't kill! Bro, bro, bro. Oh, Houston, Houston, Houston. Get me the kill. Bow. 
Give him speed, and he'll hail Mary you the victory. Anywho, boys, I think I'll leave it there. I think, I, you know, I feel like the point has got has gotten across. You know, with PVE stuff, um, it will be a little bit more. Well, with PVE stuff, it's it's still going to be a breeze. Once you get your Black Arthur situated, and then once Witch Queen makes her way in, then at that point you're pretty much sit, sitting back and relaxing and getting things done. Um, but just in general, getting Black Arthur now, and just with how I kind of showcased him, you know being that defender protecting the whole team while they're supporting him it will eventually get to the point where he'll be able to accomplish and drop the big numbers of course so that's something that you guys can cater into and look into of course um, and again if you want to play that slow route and just put him in a, in a casual team to where there's an attack or support etc and, and, you, and you want him for that defending role he can also do that and then of course that then leads into if things are going south for your team and with Arthur just tanking a lot and he gets that threshold by then maybe the enemy is kind of in that situation of where they don't well they're in that danger spot of getting nuked essentially um but i just want to clarify one thing you know with, with the numbers and the nuking that i'm doing and whatnot you, you know I, it, you know my aster is 100 percent maxed out on on um dupes which don't really mean much because realistically it is the Greymore itself which holds most of the power I completely forgot, so Global has it really picture perfect, way more better than JP and KR because on Global not only do you have the character banner but you can specifically if you want to choose to dupe out the grain more. So that, that comes back to my point, if you want Asta to be that better defender and you want the taunts and you want the uh, stats uh, immunity, go for the character. But then you've got that option to be like, hmm. As much as that sounds good, I want the max damage potential R star. I want the anti magic nuke. And from that comes from the Greymore. So you can specifically aim for that. So you've got two paths to go down with your black R star if, if you're in that scenario of picking one or the other. Defense, if you, if you want if you want to go down that tank route, character dudes. If you want to go down the anti magic demon power route, Greymore. And it's as simple as that. Which route do you want? Defensive power or offensive power?